Hey babe, so I'm showing you guys how I'm going to make my best seller rose oil moisturizer. First thing you want to do is start off with clean hands and put on gloves because this is going on people's face so you want to be very sanitary. The next thing you want to use is a 2 ounce glass dropper or a plastic dropper and a funnel also. These are the oils that I'm going to be using, so sweet almond oil tea tree rosehip and jojoba i'm also using these organic rosebud petals that i found from amazon um all the items that i'm showing you is from amazon so the first thing you want to do is take your glass dropper and put some petals in your dropper and you can choose how much you want to put in based off your like personal preferences You're going to add your funnel in next and start off with your sweet almond oil and you're going to use about a third of sweet almond oil into the jar and you can just eye it. So once you have about a third of your almond oil, you're going to go in next with your jojoba oil and do a third of jojoba oil as well. Um, I use these oils because I've Googled them and found that they are best for all skin types. But you can choose the oils based off of your personal skin preferences. Um, I make these oils for a wide population of people. So I wanted to get oils that will work for all skin types not just a certain skin type so I then go in and add more rosebuds and petals into my mixture but like I said it's based off of your personal preference um, these rosebuds, rosebuds do infuse with the oil so it has a natural fragrance from the rosebuds And I'm adding in a bit more of the jojoba oil. And then next, I'm going to go in with my rosehip seed oil. This oil is great for clearing acne. I'm using a teaspoon measure to add in the rosehip oil. I usually do about two teaspoons. But for this one, I think I did just about like one and a half. And I'm adding just a tad more sweet almond oil. Lastly, I add uh, two to four drops of tea tree oil. This oil has antiseptic, antibacterial benefits and also great for acne prone skin. And the next thing you wanna do is just shake it all in together to mix all of the oils you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because once you put your dropper in it will overflow and that's how i make my rose oil moisturizer thank you guys for watching